hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel today is our day 20 and today we are going to learn about lambda functions map function and filter function so lambda functions lambda functions are said to be an anonymous functions which are not stored anywhere and which are created without a name lambda functions can be created using lambda keyword syntax of lambda functions add is equal to lambda num and num is multiplied by 2 then so this first num is basically a parameter and num into 2 is the expression and then we have printed this add basically it is stored in the add just for an example but when we use this lambda functions in our map methods or map function sorry or or filter function we don't store them in any variable so map function map function is used to apply some expression or function over an iterable object and then it returns an map of object with memory location okay so it returns a map object with a memory location and we can print the actual values by converting it to a list so syntax of map function we have a list which ranges from 1 to 4 and then we have map that over that list and we have used a lambda function with a parameter and expression and then we have converted it to a list so this is basically a blueprint you can uh, you can learn about it in actual video so this filter function filter function is used to filter an object as per an expression or function it takes anonymous function as well as and finally returns the filtered object with memory location which we can convert to list again syntax of filter function a is a list which ranges from 1 to 4 and we have similarly mapped instead of map there should be filter so that is a mistake so ignore it and then we can use the filter function similarly so without any ado let's get started and let's study these functions in depth hey guys and i'm back with my computer and today we are going to learn one of the most important and interesting topic lambda functions which are also called as anonymous functions so basically these functions are anonymous as the name says and we are going to learn a lot about them so let us start with anonymous functions and then we will move forward to map and filter methods okay basically functions okay so let us open visual studio code first in here i have this code from my previous video if you have haven't watched it yet then you can find the link in the i button now and if you haven't accessed my python programming playlist then you can find the link in the i button now and if you like to watch some videos regarding linux commands then installing virtual machine and installing ubuntu on virtual machine then some videos like vs code customizations then you can definitely find those videos on my channel as well so you can always see those videos or watch those videos and they will definitely make you a better programmer as well so with that said let me just delete all this code here okay so now moving on to our lambda functions topic so far we have learned that we can create functions like this so if i want a function i can create it like this this takes a parameter okay so this takes a parameter and it basically returns some code or returns some expression okay so we have learned this okay so let us provide a parameter of num and the expression let us say okay so let us say num and let us add 10 to it so what we are doing that this function is getting a number and then this function is returning that number incremented with 10 so let us print this add and let us pass 10 to it so we should see 20 in here so as we can see 20 has been printed here so this is our regular function but what actually lambda function will do here or how lambda function will act here is basically what we can do is we can simply create a function let's say add and we can create this lambda function with using this lambda keyword this also takes a parameter or multiple parameters and an expression okay similarly uh, to our normal by default functions okay so let us give a parameter of num and let us give an expression let's say number and let us multiply it with two okay so our python our pipette recommends that you should always use these type of functions uh, ex except of using lambda functions because lambda functions are not used 
directly like this we can use them in filter methods we can use them in uh, map functions so just like that we use them we don't use them here so therefore our python is converting this syntax directly when i save my file our pipette is converting this syntax directly so we will just simply copy this code or we will simply cut this code and let us try the same in idle which is the by default which is the by default text editor or interpreter which comes with the by default uh, installation of your python so simply press ctrl and n to open new window and simply close this and in here you can write your code as well so i will simply uh, paste the syntax here and let me just format it okay so let me just configure it and let me increase its size to let's say 25 so that you can see my screen with better ease okay so now we have this function here and if i will print the output let's say add and if i will add 20 here okay so we are passing this 20 to this function and we are printing the output of this okay so basically what it will do is it will give the same result as it was giving so we, we will get uh, 40 in here so let us save this file first so i will save this file in my local disk and in our python programs and in here let us give it a name let's say functions okay lambda functions lambda functions okay so we have saved this file now let us run it you can run your file from here run module okay so as you can see we get 40 here so what is happening in behind is this lambda function is actually it works similarly as our def by default functions or the user defined functions okay so you can do the same with this then you can create multiple functions like this so let us create a function sum and let us create it let us create a lambda function where i will pass a b and c and i will give the values like or i will what i will do with them is i will in i will basically simply add them okay so i will simply add them so there is a problem or something so i will print this sum and i will pass these three values so one two and three let's say and i will print this on our terminal so let me run it sorry so uh, there is some mistake so let me just run this program and as you can see 6 and this is the right output because 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 so just like that you can execute your lambda functions so uh, i think you have understood that what lambda functions are actually so basically these lambda functions are nothing different difficult or nothing different than our user defined functions but sim sim simply that they can take a lot of parameters just like our user defined functions but you can simply execute your function and you can store the value in one uh, variable basically and the special thing about them let me show you the special thing about them so what this sum is basically is my mistake so i have created the function named another and i have uh, that that was the only mistake that i i, I made so let, uh, let me just do like this sum and let me do like this sum okay so now what we are doing here is we are storing the answer of this another function okay so we are calling this another function and in this another function we are uh, passing two as a value and we are storing it in a sum okay and then we are printing this sum and again we are passing this 10 here so let me just run our module now and here we are getting an error again so lambda is missing one required positional argument and this shouldn't be here because we have this n defined at here okay so that was some of the mistakes which i made and mistakes are basically uh, common in programming so let me save it and let me run it again so now as you can see 20 so basically what is happening this lambda functions anonymously uh, takes uh, these values and then it returns this 20 as an output so basically what is happening here is first of all our function another is taking a value so we have provided 2 to it so it takes that value and then we have provided this uh, this the answer of that uh, another function and we have stored it in this sum and then we have printed this sum so just like that we get this output here so i think this lambda function uh, i think you have understood that why lambda functions are called as anonymous functions they anonymously do the task okay so basically you, you are doing this task anonymously 
so let me just uh, close this files for file first and let me open this now so now let us again create let us again uncomment this code so we have this code at here and now let us learn about map function where you will use these lambda functions so far we learned what lambda functions are and how they work but now let us learn that how can they help you where you will use those lambda functions so you can you can use those lambda functions basically in your map functions so if i will list numbers okay and this list let's say uh, i have this list and 1 2 3 and 4 and 5 okay so we have this list of numbers ranging from 1 to 5 and if we i will print it as you know we will see the list directly no problem at all so as we can see now what i can do with using map function i can change the i can change all the uh, items basically or i can basically uh, basically i can change the list okay or i can update the list okay so let me just show you because uh, it is hard to explain for me okay so i can use map function and you can see here this map is a class and it uh, sorry oh okay so basically it takes a function and an iterable so now how we can pass a function directly so we can pass a lambda function in here so this lambda function and as we know it takes an parameter and an argument so let's say i want to multiply all of the list with 2 so i can pass this parameter x and the list as x by 2 okay all the, so that means that that this i x is an item or we can simply rename it to item and item will be multiplied by 2 and that is why what the lambda function will do so basically it will anonymously take all those items and it will basically multiply all of the items with 2 so uh, we are not storing any uh, this result in anything and uh, we are not doing anything with that so we are simply passing this lambda function directly in here and in here now we need to pass a iterable so iterables are basically the things which can be object which can be iterable which can be iterated so we with on which we can use for loops so do you think that we can use for loops on our numbers yes because numbers is a list and that's why we can use our iterable we can we can iterate over that list okay we, you can use your iterables sorry you can use your for loop on this uh, object and that's why it is an iterable so you can pass this numbers in here and let me just simply store it in let's say mapped list okay so we have this mapped list in here so let me create this print this list now you will see some mysterious thing going things going on here so you can see map object at this location so what is this so this is the memory location where this map object is stored okay so now to print this map object we can use our list function we can convert this map object basically to a list or we can either convert this thing uh, sorry the function the result of map function into a list and then we can store it here and you can see the output uh, our list has been multiplied by 2 or there is another way with which we can do that and that way is basically we can simply cut this from here and you can paste it here and basically you can convert and directly print this list so these are the two ways in which you can uh, achieve the same output so let me run this code okay so you can get, get the same output with both of these approaches so this map function is used to change element elements dynamically so if i want to change each element if i want to take each element square okay if i want to print the square of each element then i can do this and you can see i get the squares of elements of this list okay so one square is 1 2 4 9 3 9 4 16 and 5 25 so i can get squares just like that then what we but now you will see that uh, then what is the need of doing this and all so currently we have list ranging from 1 to 5 but what if our list was like this our list uh, was like this okay then what now you can see if our list was uh, ranging from 0 to 100 then we have we then we would have to uh, create a lot of code we, we would have to write a lot of code and this map function basically saves our time so that's why this map function is 
very useful in programming so let me just create my list again okay so just like that you can use map function now let me just comment this out okay so now let us move on to filter function okay so similarly what filter function will do is it will filter the elements okay so using filter function it will take an function again so it will take a lambda function so let me provide a lambda function with item as a parameter sorry so with item as a parameter and what i want if i want that the, this list should be filtered that uh, let's say we have a list like this 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so we have this list now and if i want to print or if i want to separate the even numbers from the odd numbers i, I simply want only the even numbers then what i can do is i can say items okay modular item sorry item modulus equal to sorry modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 so what we are doing here is we we are saying that take each of the each item okay so we are taking each we are accessing each the item so we are accessing each item and then we are checking that is it uh, is it modulus by 2 and uh, the result is 0 so the the item modulus by 2 is 0 or not so if it is 0 then we can simply uh, see the output okay and if it is not then that uh, specific uh, item will not be considered okay will be removed from the list okay so let's say filtered items okay so if i have this list filtered items okay and let me just print this filtered items and similarly like our map function you can see sorry so i have two brackets in here so this bracket is a problem so now as you can see that by running this you can see this filter object at this location so basically we have to do the same we have to convert it to a list okay so by converting it to a list our problem will now not be there okay so we are we don't have any problem now and as you can see we have these two four six eight and ten these are the even numbers which are now separated from this list or if i want this filtered items to be item which are which items basically which are greater than let's say 5 okay so the items which are greater than 5 now the items which are greater than 5 are only considered so let me run it and as you can see 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so we are now getting all the items which are greater than 5 so just like that you can filter your lists and you can map uh, your lists with using this map and filter functions both of these functions are definitely very useful and interesting and basically the anonymous functions are very very interesting and you can learn about them you can i can't explain everything about these lambda functions to you because this is very deep topic so what you can do is you can search on the internet lambda functions in python and there are a lot of websites like websites like java point geeks to geeks for geeks and then uh, uh, w3 schools and a lot of websites are there which will t tell you this lambda function tell you about these lambda functions in depth you can you will be able to learn about these lambda functions in depth so learn about them and always practice this okay so uh, don't just watch these videos and you uh, think like i am learning python so that's not going to happen so you have to practice it you have to do this on your computer you have to sit and you have to do this in your uh, computer and then and only then you will get an idea that what is happening and how everything is working out so just like that you can practice all of these programs and with that said we have successfully learned about lambda functions filter and map methods and thank you for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next video